Hello again from Silver Fire. This video is about our new Silver Fire Mini Dragon Pot. Maybe many of you are already familiar with our larger Dragon Pot. Our larger Dragon Pot, what it's doing is it has 75% more surface area because there's a skirt. So we're making the walls of the pot heat to transfer heat as well as the bottom. So that means we have 75% more surface area, more than a Kelly kettle heating from the inside out, more than using a pot skirt. Uh, our, our Dragon Pot's just been a very big hit with all our customers on our larger stoves, the Silver Fire Super Dragon, the Hunter, uh, the Rocket Stove, or on your home butane, uh, propane, or natural gas range. Uh, many folks have told us this is one of the most amazing pieces of cookware they've ever owned. So, of course, we decided to duplicate this same design for our Silver Fire Scout uh, trekking stove, our small backpacking stove. Previously, we've used the MSR for solo uh, um, use out in the field with our little Scout, and folks have loved the way the Scout collapses, fits inside the pot for solo use with fire starter utensils, so on and so forth. One of the big advantages of our gas fire, our little Tila top lit up draft Scout stove was that just by filling it with scrub, you could burn it for typically a half hour or more. And if you packed it with dense hardwood, you could dry the stove for uh, 45 minutes to an hour, uh, pellets for two hours. And because you could cook for such long durations, even though you're gonna boil a small volume pot like this in only uh, three or four minutes after your flames are established, uh, this, this design, this modular deep dish combustion chamber allows for very prodigious uh, long burning cook times that other little biomass stoves uh, cannot accomplish. So this little uh, MSR pot is the 775 milliliters, so it's three quarters of a liter. So that really meant it was for single use uh, at best. Uh, it's a wonderful, tough pot. The, these are Boy Scout issues. They're heavy, they've been around for 50 years. They're designed to throw at each other, fall down the cliff 50 feet. And uh, there's no knocks on this pot. But however, by creating a skirt, again, a double wall, we can make the walls of the pot heat the bottom. And we decided to come out, because we can cook for so long with the Scout, in the field for two people. So a lot of customers are asking us for a larger pot for cooking for two in the field because the Scout performs so well. So that's what we've accomplished with our new Silver Fire Mini Dragon Pot. We have incorporated many of the design features that were in the MSR pot with the locking bale. So this ends up being your handle. Here's the lid on top. We have a double layered clad bottom so it's not going to burn out just like our larger dragon pot the bottom is double layered so let's take a look at what's inside this you can buy this stove uh, this pot rather from silver fire is just a pot or you can buy it as the ultimate uh, mini dragon pot two liter setup for two and then we're going to show you what's in this for two so we'll unlock the bale Again, we have pasta noodle drain holes in the lid with our new little mini dragon pot. Of course, we have our Scout stove, which I'll take out. And our Scout, again, is modular. There's a combustion chamber. And inside, we have two sets of spoons and two sets of stainless steel forks and a fire starter. So this is what you'll find inside our Ultimate Scout kit with the two liter Dragon Pot, all in brushed 304 stainless. And we even have room for a solar lantern that's inflatable, waterproof, lasts 10 years. So we have almost every base we could think of covered for you out for two in the field with our new Mini Dragon two liter pot. So again, your Silver Fire Mini Dragon Pot for two is going to reduce your fuel use by half, reduce your time to boil by 30, 40 percent, 
and it's also going to increase safety on the stove when you stir it it's not dislodged due to the recessed design and it, the fact that it also serves as a wind skirt in addition to transferring heat into the pot with 75 percent more surface area so now we're going to get the scout uh, flame going get it gasifying and get it ready to uh, add the mini dragon pot onto the scout stove so here we have two little cups where our little sticks are doubled up. Now, with the mini dragon pot, many of you may be used to filling up the scout combustion chamber all the way up to the secondary gasification ports. This is not necessary with when you're using the mini dragon pot. As we mentioned, this pot makes the scout very stingy on fuel, so you're using half as much. If you ever use pellets, a quarter as much. So this is significant fuel reductions uh, are only required when using the mini dragon pot because you're increasing heat transfer and efficiency to such a degree. So we're going to light the stove here and put a wood in. First what we'll do is let's add a, a, a liter, a quart of water. Here's a couple pints of, of water. And so we're going to fill this up uh, about two thirds of the way or so. So we have plenty of water in our uh, dragon pot. The new mini dragon pot uh, has the lid with no pasta noodle drain holes like we showed. But I think for the uh, film, just so you can see it heating up, we'll just go ahead and use a glass lid on top of our dragon pot for video purposes on that. So we'll go ahead and uh, load the stove here. We'll just take this stove, the combustion chamber, and load it up. Okay, so you can see right here, we have filled the combustion chamber only by half. Then we have a handful of tinder we'll sprinkle on top. Uh, that was about a paint cap worth. So we have a lot of handful of tinder and our primary fuel below that all stacked vertical in this top lit up draft stove. Now we'll go ahead and uh, we're gonna light the stove. If you may have seen in our earlier few, uh, films that uh, I use tack cloth quite a bit. Uh, again, tack cloth is found in all hardware stores or paint supply stores for about a buck. And what I do is I cut it on the four inch folds, keep the four inch shape a single layer. I put wax paper or label uh, paper in between so it doesn't stick together. And this will last me maybe uh, two years in a sandwich bag uh, to peel off. And it, we'll show you why we like the uh, tack cloth uh, for fire starter. Uh, of course, we recognize that alcohol on cotton balls, petro, um, uh, petroleum jelly on cotton balls, you have moth balls, you have uh, char cloth, you have lots of options out there. Lots and lots of fire starting options. We like tack cloth because it's sticky, it has linseed oil, it's 100% cotton. Uh, then the magnesium we scrape from the fire starter that we sell on our website. We scrape the paduke, the, the handle, we scrape the magnesium. The linseed oil and the 100% cotton gives us a four backup plan to li always light a fire in case our matches are wet or we've lost our lighter, or the butane's out or whatever. So we really like tack cloth again because it's going to hold all our tinder uh, in place even in the wind. So what we're going to do is simply scrape the magnesium on the tack cloth here and we're going to scrape the handle the Paduke wood, and this is going to give us both tinder, magnesium, linseed oil, and cotton. And then we're just going to lay it right on top of the fuel bed here. And we'll go ahead and light this uh, all in place. Now, some techniques, some folks like to just spark it downward. Some people hold the striker in place and pull away. It doesn't matter, whatever your personal preference is. So we'll go ahead and get this flame established while we talk about the stoves. Okay, so we now have our stove lit. It's ignited. It's only been burning for a minute 
and it's very warm today and it's, so it's already starting to gasify. We have a very, very clean burn uh, with no um, emissions that we can see. Uh, so this is doing a really, really good job. And um, we're gonna, I'm gonna look at my watch here and it's about quarter to uh, uh, eight Pacific time and we're gonna go ahead and put on the pot. So let's talk about the, the motivation behind some of these stoves. Why do we develop these? Well, mainly is uh, we've all used lots of stoves. Uh, I don't like relying on commercial distribution. Uh, I don't like carrying white gas. So let's take a look at some of the stoves. This is a, a military heat tab stove that many of you may uh, have used in the service. It's just a little tin folding stove that you could put in your pocket and this was issued to me uh, when I was at Force Recon, uh, when I was serving with the Marines uh, back in the 70s and uh, you know I never really liked this stove because I always had lukewarm coffee and uh, it was a very minimalist stove and uh, the quality just wasn't there and uh, I don't like cold field, cold food in the field. So that's our, our heat tab stove. This is uh, uh, another uh, stove that I was issued. This is uh, NSWG, uh, Naval Special Warfare Group, and I was with SEAL Team. So this was, a, this was your uh, white gas stove. Uh, this stove actually was responsible for starting a hotel room on fire. The uh, cork uh, dried out and cracked in the plunger, and I went for a long run, came back and hopped in the shower, pumped it up, and took a shower and I didn't know that the, the uh, cork gasket on the plunger had failed and it ignited uh, the coffee table in my hotel room and the curtains and uh, the fire department was not very happy with me. So uh, this was a good stove uh, for carrying gas. It's very heavy um, and um, it performed well uh, for base camp type cooking. Uh, it did fine. But again, uh, as I've gotten older and I want lighter, more efficient stoves, I want to use less fuel and not rely on commercial distribution. These are some of the uh, things that motivated me to uh, build uh, better stoves. Now, this is another little gasifier uh, on the market. This is called the Solo Stove. Now, you'll notice that the combustion chamber is only about an inch di deep and it uses refractory wire. Uh, and this wire, I, we have replaced some customers' stoves for this wire failing and pulling away from the wall. But the real problem with the stove from application in the field is you have to keep feeding it all the time because the depth of the stove is only an inch deep for fuel. And uh, it just, the diameter of the combustion chamber is too narrow. You just don't have a long, n enough cook time. That's why with the Silver Fire uh, Scout, we made the combustion chamber three times deeper uh, and um, uh, much wider. Same thing with the uh, BioLite stove, another uh, biomass stove on the market that's extremely heavy. It's, it has a tag uh, that's supposed to generate five watts. It really develops only about two and a half uh, and so doesn't really meet much um, application for charging anything in the field but older flip phones and it goes through all its biomass in five minutes flat unless you switch to pellets and then you're carrying accelerants in the field and kind of defeating the purpose of having a biomass stove. So we consider this a, a, a novelty stove out in the field. So again, the Silver Fire Scout can burn a half hour with densely packed twigs to uh, hardwood, 45 minutes to an hour, pellets, you could go for two hours, but everything's gonna boil very, very quickly in fact, uh, let's kind of take a look at our little pot. It has been uh, two minutes uh, and we already have boils, uh, bubbles forming on the bottom. So this is about ready to come to uh, a boil with only uh, two minutes. So this is a very efficient stove for two people in the field. And that's why we developed this compared to our former offering for solo use with the MSR pot. So 
the Dragon Pots really moving you forward into a new arena using less fuel, greater safety, uh, and uh, much uh, more efficient heat transfer. Okay, uh, under three minutes, we're at a very uh, violent rolling boil with the Silver Scout Mini 2 liter Dragon Pot. You can see it uh, boiling away, and uh, this is more than enough uh, water for us to drink, to cook a meal, to sanitize our cookware. And you can see uh, we ha haven't even used half our fuel in the combustion chamber, and you can see how efficiently the Scout is gasifying there. You can see the propane-like little fingers on the perimeter of the stove where the secondary combustion is taking place. So we're back at a rolling boil. You can see in the video again, I laid it back on the pot and immediately we're back at a violent rolling boil. And that's showing very, very efficient uh, combustion there with the Scout. Okay, in summary, you can buy the Silver Pot Mini Dragon Pot uh, two liter pot uh, by itself or you can buy it with the ultimate kit including uh, solar lantern, the stove, two sets of utensils and fire starter for two. Um, or of course you can uh, buy our Scout alone by itself, so you, we have all kinds of options on our website. Um, we also have a wonderful uh, salt block uh, cooking video we just uh, put up. So uh, thank you very much and we'll look forward to introducing more products to you in the future from Silverfire. Bye now.